And today we are going to be talking about the laser photo tachometer from Amazon. And what this is, is say if you wanted to find out how fast a fidget spinner was spinning, this is what you would use. It's got a little laser that shoots out and it can read how fast things are spinning. Very useful in mechanics and like what I use it for is to find out how fast my weapons are spinning on combat robots. But if you're looking at this video, you already have a planned use for this. You just want to see if this one is right for you. So let's get into testing this out. Of course, I have the fidget spinner as a sample to use to test this out. But first, we're going to look at what you get in the box. You get the actual tester itself. The box says batteries included with four double A's. I didn't get my batteries. I don't know if it was an error, but no big deal. I just got four double A's, stuck them in there. You get a carrying case or storage case. And then inside the case, of course, you get the instruction manual. And you also get this or these strips of tape. And it's just a silver reflective material. And what you use this for is you can cut off a little piece of this you put it on the item that you want to see how fast it's spinning and then that's what you aim the laser at and it will tell you the RPM. So let's try it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little piece of this tape off, just a perfect little square, and now I'm just going to stick it to my fidget spinner. Now that we have that on there, you have two buttons on here. You have the memory button that you can hit and you have the actual test button. You can see the little laser. So after you actually take a test, you can hit the memory button and go back and look at what your previous reading was. So let's go ahead and give this fidget spinner a nice spin. And now we're going to test. 236, 232, 218. So not as fast as it was spinning on the table, but let's try it again. Two twenty-six is counting down. So it works quite well. The thing that I've just noticed that whenever you're scanning and using this, if you have it at an angle, it's given it's gonna give you a crazy reading. You you really need to be like like a ninety degree angle to get the most accurate reading. But works, great value, no complaints from me so far. So I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.